This week we're coming to you from Benson Days in Wachula, Florida, about 60 miles southeast of Tampa. Benson Days was named after Igor Benson, unquestionably the father of the autogyro, who used to attend these events prior to his death in the year 2000. It is important for us as airplane enthusiasts to understand and appreciate the gyroplane as it shares many of the same engines, components, and flight controls that we use on our fixed wing aircraft. Like a helicopter, it is a rotary wing aircraft, which means that it has a rotor to provide lift instead of wings like conventional airplanes. Unlike a helicopter, the rotor is not powered by the engine. It is made to spin by aerodynamic forces by way of a phenomenon called auto rotation. Instead, the thrust comes from a propeller at the rear of the aircraft. They share the same basic controls as a fixed wing airplane, the stick, throttle, and rudder pedals. For the gyro to take off, the rotor must produce sufficient lift, so it is necessary to bring the rotor up to the required speed. The typical way to do this is to use a linkage to the engine to get the rotor spinning, and then the linkage is disconnected for the rest of the flight. Looking at various rotors, we see some interesting methods for this temporary spin-up. Sometimes we see teeth on a gear that indicates a drive mechanism of some sort. This could be powered by a mechanical link to the engine. A more elaborate setup uses a hydraulic motor connected by hoses to a hydraulic pump attached to the engine. The pilot controls when to engage or disengage the pump during the rotor startup procedure. The rotor head tilts both forward and aft and side to side controlled by the pilot's stick. This is somewhat similar to the stick in a fixed wing plane in controlling the aircraft's motion. The rudder pedals control a conventional rudder at the rear. The engine with a prop has its main job of thrusting the gyroplane forward through the air. The rotor spins solely by the air passing from this forward momentum. The engine does not power the rotor in flight. Similar to the fixed wing aircraft market, there seems to be two groups of aircrafts. The experimental models where we build them ourselves and the factory-built certified models ready to fly. Next time you are at a fly-in, take a closer look at these machines and appreciate how they find themselves leaving Mother Earth and returning safely using the same components, engines, and principles we are already familiar with. But they do it in a superbly unique way.
And that's it for now. I'm John Croak advising you to get back to building. Oh, have him retake that. And next week, don't forget about sun and fun. Until then, don't forget to get back to building. <laughs>